Hello and welcome. In this lecture, we are going to create our first API project in Python. Now, in order to create API project, we first need some tools and a virtual environment setup to start with. So, in this video, let me show you step by step how to set up development environment or virtual environment for Python project. These are the points which we will cover in this lecture. First, we will install Python. Then we will create a virtual environment. And finally, we will install FastAPI and Unicorn in our virtual environment. Now let's look into these one by one. The first thing which we need to do is we need to install the latest version of Python. For this project, Python should be installed in your system. If you have not already installed Python, then head over to python.org and from there you need to install the latest version of Python for your operating system. When you click on this button, an installer will start downloading. Double click on this installer and follow the installation steps to install Python on your machine. Once Python downloaded and installed in your system, to check the Python is successfully installed or not, open the command prompt or windows in terminal in Mac in admin mode and type the command python hyphen hyphen version. When you press the enter, it will show you the version of Python installed in your machine. In my machine, Python 3.10.7 version is installed. This version might be different for you, but as long as you are seeing this version, on your machine, you are good to go. If you see any error here, that means Python is not installed properly. In that case, you try reinstalling it. Let's create virtual environment. Once Python is successfully installed, now we need to create a project folder. Inside this folder, we will create a virtual environment for our API project. Virtual environment is a tool provided by Python by default. It is a tool that allows you to group Python packages to a specific folder. Normally when you would install a package, it would install into a base Python installation of the operating system. In order to avoid cluttering of the base operating system, you can group all the Python dependencies for a particular project in a virtual environment. This is the way you can keep a separate set of dependencies of your project separated from other projects or an actual Python package which are installed in your operating system. If your operating system has Python friendly applications you have installed. So let's go ahead and create a Python virtual environment for our project. Make sure that we have opened the working project directory in Visual Studio code and the terminal is also open in it. The way you can create virtual environment using Python is by typing python m venv and the environment name in my case i am giving it name as virtual now hit enter button and go ahead to create virtual environment you can see some new folders are created here with some basic dependencies for python virtual environment remember one thing that we should not actually touch any of the file inside it these files are here to run in the background of python project whenever you install python dependencies they get installed into the virtual environment that is activated at the time you install it. Which means if you want to use virtual environment, we need to first activate it before we install and run any script of our project. The process to activate the virtual environment is different for Mac, Linux and Windows. To activate the virtual environment on Mac or Linux will be source virtual slash bin slash activate. And if you created virtual environment in Windows, we will have a different set of files and folder. And to activate the virtual environment in Windows, we need to type this command in terminal to activate the virtual environment. The command is source virtual slash scripts slash activate. Once you hit enter to activate virtual environment, you will notice the virtual prefix at the beginning of the terminal. This signifies that we have enabled virtual environment and currently working within the virtual environment. Now anything we install or any changes we make in our project will be applied to this virtual environment. The next thing I will show you how to deactivate the virtual environment. 
To do that, you simply type deactivate in the terminal and hit enter. You will notice that the prefix virtual disappears. That's how we can use virtual environment in our Python project. Now let's install FastAPI in UVicon. Before installation of FastAPI in UVicon, we need to ensure that the virtual environment of this project is activated. We will also have a basic understanding of FastAPI as well as UVicon. So let's see what FastAPI is. FastAPI is a modern, fast and high performance web framework for building APIs and web applications with Python. It also has easy to use documentation. FastAPI also make it easy to build APIs and web application with Python. It supports ASGI web server. The next is UVicon. There are various servers like UVicon, GUnicon and Hypercon that serves FastAPI. But we are using UVicon here because it supports asynchronous code and UVicon is ASGI web server implementation for Python. ASGI stands for Asynchronous Server Gateway Interface. Basically, it stands between outside world and the web application and handle the request from the clients. ASGI allows to run multiple events at the same time. This property make it faster than other gateway interface like WSGI. At this stage, we are aware about FastAPI, UVicon and activated the virtual environment. Now let us create a separate folder to keep our project related files and script inside. I have created a folder and name it as API project. Now change the directory and insert into the project folder and create main.py file as well as requirements.txt file. Write FastAPI in UV code in requirements.txt file and install these dependencies in the virtual environment by using the command pip install hyphen r requirements.txt when it is finished downloading you will see a success message this brings us to the end of this video in this lecture we have installed python fast api uvicon and created virtual environment for our project this is all from this video thank you for listening have a great day